a new report by Retail Me Not shows nearly all Americans are using the money savers. Most active online coupon users are in the Northeast with New York, Boston, and Philadelphia topping the list. Tampa comes in at number nine. People are also turning away from printing coupons and going mostly digital. We're joined live now by Trey Fodge, a senior lifestyle editor for RetailMeNot.com in New York City. First off, good morning, Trey. What deals do people like and what are they looking for? Oh, good morning and thanks for having me. People love deals, obviously. As you said, 96% of Americans are coupon users. What Retail Me Not found in our survey is that people are really attracted to deals that offer a, a number, a dollar off, like $3 off 10 or $30 off 100. People really love those deals. And then second to that are those percentage off deals. So people really like a 25% or under deal, actually um, looking at those deals as being very strong. I was surprised to see that about 40% of people said, yes, I will definitely go for a deal that's up to 25%. We obviously have those holdouts for those big door buster deals, however. About 25% of consumers said that they'll hold out for 50% off or more. And those are the ones that we all look for. Trey, I, I like to use coupons when I go out to eat at restaurants or different places like that, but I always forget them at home. Now coupons are going digital, correct? Oh my goodness, yes. And obviously we've all used printable coupons for decades and we love them in our circulars and our newspapers, but in this digital age where we can jump online really quickly or as you said, when you're out and about shopping or eating, you can use your smartphone, your laptop, your desktop to access coupons. Retail Me Not is a great hub for those coupons. We have 500,000 on our site at any given time. And then we also have a mobile app. So if you're going out to a restaurant or you're going to the mall, you can check the mobile app for deals that you can use right there from your smartphone. You can always find more trade. Last thing, what's your advice to people who do not use coupons? Well, my sense is that people who don't use coupons think that they take too much time or it's something that you have to really give thought to, and that's not the case anymore. You can easily jump on your laptop or desktop at home and under a minute find a great deal on a site like retailmenot.com or like I said on your smartphone, literally the mobile app will alert you to deals right there within the mall that as you pull into the parking lot, so it takes no effort at all. I would definitely make a habit of it as a consumer if you're not doing so already. Trey, I'll admit I'm that person when it comes to grocery shopping coupons. Trey Vaz, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Now let's send it over to Michelle, who's joined by a local founder of a coupon website. Michelle. All right, thank you so much, Stuart. So I'm joined today by Mary Edwards, who created the website Couponers United. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. We want to start out with the five tips that you have, easy tips for people who have never couponed to start saving money. Sure. Uh, the first thing that we recommend is that you always have an uh, even number of coupons. So you always want to have two of the same coupons because of all those great buy one get one free deals. A lot of people don't know that during a buy one get one free sale, you can use the coupon on the item you're purchasing and on the free item. Great so tip. even numbers. Okay, what's number two? Uh, number two would have to be uh, know your store policies. So every, pol every store is going to have a different coupon policy. So before you head out and you're blindsided, check their website, find out do they take competitor coupons? Is there a maximum number of coupons that you're able to use? Great. Through B, uh, maximize your savings. There's so many tools out there that we can use. So you want to shop the sales, of course. You want to add your coupons in, and then you want to get cash back as well. So look for cash back or rebates on what you're purchasing. Oh, rebates are good. I love those. Okay, so what about number four? Uh, be prepared. Have a list. So uh, many times I'll go into the store, and if I forget my list, I overspend. So I'll get home, I'll start unpacking all my groceries, and realize I've got to make another trip. So I have to head back to the store, and at that point, I'm wasting my time, my energy, and my gas money, and gas can be expensive. And finally? Uh, last, uh, get to know your smartphone and all those wonderful apps. So most of our favorite stores are going to have apps with coupons uh, and extra sales. You can even get stuff texted directly to you, so you can use those. And what happens in the store is they just scan your phone. It's as easy as that. That's great. And also, organization must be key, too. Organization is very, very important. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with. People have coupon binders, which I'm sure you've seen in the store. Uh, people also have hanging files where they store their coupons as well. All right, Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. And we can look for you online at CouponersUnited.com. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Amy, how's the weather? All right, thanks so much, Mary. Great website.